Hey guys, in today's video, I got a follow-up for iOS 11.3 Beta 3, and I told you guys if there was something worth mentioning that I would give you a follow-up video, and that's what I'm going to do in this video. Also, want to talk about the battery performance in this beta. A lot of people have been asking about it, and some additional features that I've discovered and that other people have discovered since its release. So let's get right to it. Now, one of the new features I've came across with iOS 11.3 Beta 3 is that once you enabled VoiceOver, which is going to be an accessibility feature, you get this brand new pop-up that explains on how to use it step by step so of course being an accessibility feature this is really good because it tells you how to control the screen without having to look at the screen so voiceover gestures a pop-up now in iOS 11.3 beta 3 if we go into the settings application and we go to privacy under the analytics we now find a new option to improve health records as well so now you can also send this data to apple to help improve the health records within the health application if you wish to do so as well one thing i did want to mention is that if we do go to general accessibility display accommodations invert and smart invert now smart invert is somewhat of a dark mode for ios and i've seen more applications support it like twitter uh, also other social networks like instagram youtube so slowly but surely applications have the ability to kind of adjust their apps to improve the use of smart invert on their application and it looks like that's the case a, a lot of social networks have been improved this is on the developers end, not really on apple's end. they have the ability to kind of change their app to have a better look and user experience and it looks like a lot of other applications are actually taking advantage of this also another thing that i did want to mention from yesterday's video is that airplay 2 has been disabled on the latest beta now apple will most likely bring this back before the official launch of ios 11.3 but for the moment airplay 2 support has been disabled with the latest beta for ios 11.3 as well and last but not least i want to talk about the battery performance of ios 11.3 beta 3 versus beta 2 and what i can tell you is that it is very similar to the previous beta normally when there's a major difference i'll record a time lapse i'll show you guys the difference but in this case the results have been so close that not even worth the video at this moment so maybe a beta 4 beta 5 in the future could require a video to show you any major difference within the battery but for right now the battery from ios 11.3 beta 1 all the way to beta 3 pretty much identical minor fluctuations but if you want to update to ios 11.3 public beta i'll leave a link down below because that was released today as well uh it is a beta but it is a really good beta actually in the battery performance you're not going to be lacking on battery performance at least not much depending on your device and uh in terms of performance the beta is a lot smoother within the last 24 hours that i've had it installed has been really really good so there you guys have it just a quick follow-up video on some of the things that i missed and some of the things that i wanted to follow up information with you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you Real soon. Peace.